things here on Hermitcraft just keep getting crazier and crazier. We've got to go to the shopping district, everyone. There's something very important that I need to investigate. What on earth? Right, let's just uh, take this in for a second. Thou shalt not mine diamonds? Why not? That doesn't affect the king. Man, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Where'd my shop go? I'm sure I left it right here. Where'd it go? Welcome to Hermitcraft, everyone, where things seem to be getting slightly out of hand. J just slightly. I'm gonna go home and process all of this new information. Well, you know what they say, when life gives you problems, you build a bridge and get over it. <laughs> Let's finally get this bridge finished, shall we? I think it's about time. It's It's been here for, you know, a while. The grass has grown and gotten snowy. It's time. Right, first things first, uh, let's make this actually walkable, shall we? This bridge I'm hoping to have be one of the most elven features that we have. It's gonna be a covered bridge, so it'll have a big spiky roof over it, and I'm gonna connect it to a tower over here. This is gonna take some effort though, so maybe we'll start the episode with a little bit of a time lapse. What do you think? Let's get into it. I did it! I built a bridge and I love it. This looks absolutely magical in my opinion. I love that you can see Pearl's base so well from this bridge. You get a great view of the forest and my base entrance. And in general, you know, it's just a really functional bridge. It's great. You could totally, you could get straight into my base from here. I mean, I'm gonna have to work out some details, but you can get in. So that's good. Just hold. Hold on, I can get out too. Yep, there we go. Nailed it. Now, of course, there's still a bunch of details that I'm gonna have to work out, such as glow lichen for the snow, but I really like the look of this. I think it's going to be absolutely magical. And with the lichen, it'll literally glow, which I think will be even more magical. I was also thinking that perhaps we could do a whole bunch of quite lush details. I just wanna see how this would look. Like say if we had these potted plants kind of sporadically throughout the place, like so. Would this look any good? Ooh, yeah, actually I think I quite like that. I think I like it. Working on the smaller details of a build is so fun. And I want this build in particular to be super magical. So let's try and get, actually maybe that would work. We just hang a chain right there and put a soul lantern on it. Yeah, I feel like that looks pretty magical. It doesn't really need much else. There we go. Oh, this is even more magical now. I love it. One finishing touch. I think we need some glow berries. These would look so good. I definitely feel like an elven princess walking through here. I love it. Let's see how our newfound details look over here. Ooh, yeah, actually, I think that that works really good. Looks pretty lush, and I think once we get the rest of the trees and bushes and things around, it'll blend in quite a lot better. Well, now, I suppose I've built a bridge, but I'm still not over it. Ren is absolutely out of control with the rules that he's put into place on Hermitcraft. So, why don't we go ahead and just break them? You know, it's just, you don't have to follow, what's he gonna do? He's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna break some rules. Oh, uh... Don't mind the flex. I've been I've been working on my <laughs> on my garden. Don't, it's fine. <laughs> the that's you know what? I've already got two of the rules down. Here we go. I mined a diamond. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna eat a cookie, not a pie. So I suppose the next rule that I ought to break. Hmm. You know what? We actually could use some prismarine. Why don't we go AFK? Off we go to the prismarine farm. It, nobody look at the back of my build. It, it's fine. I'll get to it. We did a bridge today. It's, it's good progress. Now, before I AFK, I actually had an idea that I could do out here to make my decorating process a bit easier. 
Now, have I locked you in? I haven't. Hello. Do you want a new job? I have a new job for you. You get to be a librarian. So I actually just want a librarian for the decorative blocks, like bookshelves. So I'm going to quickly do that. And then uh, do I have... I do. Okay. All right. And now we wait. Oh, hey. We have a villager. Now, oh, we can get lanterns, we can get bookshelves, we can trade paper. This is great. Right, well, on that note, I suppose it's time to break our very first rule. Let's AFK, everyone. Of course, I've got my old AFK spot up here. Super safe and stealthy. I just, yep, nailed it. Here I am. I'm going AFK. Look at me go. I'm breaking the rules. Mm-hmm. This will show King Ren. Yeah, but it looks like someone has already beat me to the punch. Oh, you're not allowed to do this. Hang on. Eh, eh. Hmm. 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 This is illegal. This is this is against the law. Hang on. What is she doing? Right. What just happened? You have been caught AFK. Come to the castle for a healthy discussion of blame. Oop. Healthy? Well, thanks for the obsidian, Cleo. You know what? I am kind of curious. Let's go to the castle. Here we are. The castle. Hello. 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 Good to see you. I, I don't I'm see you, to be honest. Oh. Um. Mm. So how are you? Good. Are you sure? Because you don't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> Cleo! This wa it wasn't me. It was not me. Red I doesn't even like Prismarine. He doesn't, he's not even using it. I. Yeah, but the point was you took his crown off his statue and therefore punishment and like, like it's a whole thing. Yeah. You know, it's, I didn't make choices. There were choices to be made. They weren't mine. Cleo, why are you even involved in this? You do not seem like a follower. <laughs> you seem like a leader, and I don't know why you're doing this. Uh, like, well, originally it was for, for money and power, but there isn't a lot of money, and the power's kind of... Corrupt. I think the I would say it was corrupt. corrupt. You have to be, you, you have to be um, good at your job to be corrupt. Um, Incompetent. Yeah, no, that'll work. Um, but I, I have to punish you because it's the law, but unfortunately, Ren hasn't um, set out any punishments. So... Incompetent. Um, I didn't say he was the best king in the world. He's just the only king in the world, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, can you just say I threw you in a pit and left you there? And just, I, just for I will my reputation... Thank yeah, you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, you, you know um, what? You're letting me off easy here, and you seem to agree with some of my sentiments, so I, I think it's okay. do not publicly agree with any of your sentiments. Well, at least I found my prismarine shop, I guess. Mystery salt, sort of. So, yeah, that happened. In order to process all of this information, I decided to quickly get back to work on my mega base, returning to my AFK spot, collecting the resources that I needed, and then going to my base to start on some preliminary decorations. I had thought of a couple of ideas while I was chatting with Cleo, and one of those ideas is to potentially put a study in this tower room up at the top. It looks pretty good, and the bridge also looks good with a couple of further additions and a roof on the tower. You know, I have to say, for a trust-the-process sort of mega base, this is really coming along. I like it. The bridge really ties this whole area together, and the fact that this half over here almost has an interior, or at least, you know, I, I have interior ideas for all of it, it's really coming along. I am extremely happy with this. But now, there's a couple of other things that we need to do. As we saw in this episode, the king has confiscated my shop. That's okay though, as I have actually had diamond stashes this whole time. You see, one of the very first rules that I ever broke on this server was that I never contributed any diamonds to his pit. That's right, none of the diamonds that Red and King has been just throwing away were mine. 
I have actually got a bunch of these diamonds right here and stashed in other places around my mega base. I thought since we're in kind of a rebellious sort of mood, I should decorate with these diamonds. I mean, that would be like the ultimate flex, right? Plus, I could see that soup group member Pearlescent Moon has also been decorating with diamonds. So this is a great way to tie in with her base. After all, this base up here kind of ties in with both of them really seamlessly, I think. The kind of stone and deep slate big foundations that I have tie in a little bit with impulse and will hopefully more later. And the new terrain that I put in with some of these alien-like nether plants kind of tie in with what Pearl's doing. So hopefully this will help even more. We may need some more diamonds for this though. How about a mining session? It's been a little while since I've headed down in the mines, so I figure this will be a nice relaxing trip for us anyways to decompress after that whole crassel bit. Whilst I partake in some illegal diamond mining on the server, I thought that I would go ahead and answer a couple of your comments from the last episode. I don't do this super often, but this weekend that I'm uploading is actually Canadian Thanksgiving. So it's that time of year where you're kind of looking back on the last year, thinking about what you're thankful for, and I'm really thankful for all of you. So I want to spend a little bit of time reading some comments. Okay, I'm gonna start with one of our top comments. This one comes from Leah Adams, who said, fun fact concerning your secret room, books are very sound absorbing, which is the reason libraries are naturally more quiet. I love fun facts like this. I, th I think that's really cool. And also the fact that I'm adding books in that mob tower, I think this helps so much. It's realistic, you know, there's a reason. You don't wanna have people hearing mobs dying while they're crossing the pretty bridge. It's fine. CSB Opter says, idea, can you make Mackenzie more realistic and bigger and have a talking wall? I have a lot of ideas for what I wanna do with Mackenzie, but I'm not sure which ones are gonna come to light, so <laughs> I'm not gonna get into it and overcommit. I like where the mega base is going though, and I like the little elements that we've added through Mackenzie so far. So I think adding more things like that could definitely be really good. Keep the ideas coming. The next base suggestion comes from Broken Spectacles, who says, maybe do stained glass that fades to a darker color the lower it goes. I really like that idea. That's in reference to the glass that's in our like mob tower thing. I think that I will do that. I'm just kind of lazy and I haven't wanted to make tinted glass. It's a great idea though. I'll, I'll try and do it. I'll do my best. And I have another question here from Flower Bloom 2012. Hi, Jim, how are you now these days? And you haven't actually posted, I'm so happy you're back. Well, thank you, Flower Bloom. I'm so happy that you're watching these videos. I'm doing super well nowadays. I have a brand new puppy, as you guys all know, and I'm honestly really, really happy. Even though I am a little sleep deprived, I've seen every sunrise in the last month and every sunset on the beach walking my puppy, and it's just been really nice. I feel feel genuinely really refreshed right now and I feel like I have a lot more good ideas as opposed to when I was just in the house working kind of 12 hour days, seven days a week. This is definitely a lot healthier for me and I feel like I'm really in my stride as we go into the holidays. Although I'm not posting two or three times a week anymore as I once was, currently I'm posting once a week, sometimes twice a week and I feel like that pace is really sustainable especially as we head into this much busier time of year. Thank you for those comments and questions, everybody. I love reading all of your comments. It genuinely brings me so much joy. I love connecting with you all. And if you didn't know, I haven't promoted it in a little while. I do have a Discord server. So if you wanna get more involved with the sort of community that we have here, hop on in there. I'll put the link down in the description if I remember. If I don't remember, yell at me in the comments. I'm gonna try, but it is Thanksgiving weekend. <laughs> right, well, uh, the mining seems to have gone well. This is voiceover Jen out. You know what? I'm gonna say it. Pearl and Impulse are on vacation right now, but I feel like they would be extremely proud of how my rule breaking is going. I mean, look at this. I got almost another stack of diamonds. That's crazy. Plus all these other goodies and some smart people dust. I'll, uh, I don't really need that, but here you go, Impulse. I miss you. Come back from vacation. Right, <laughs> what was I doing? <laughs> my base, diamonds. We're, we're having, we have diamonds. We have so many diamonds. Oh, and we have a bunch of deep slate now at Prismarine. This is epic. Right, so everything accounted for, we now have 24 blocks of diamonds. I'm going to uh, save a couple of those for spending purposes. The rest of them though, fair game for building. Hold on though, I get organized for a moment. I am organizing things in Pearl's honor. I know she's not here, but I miss her dearly, so I shall organize. Now, let's place some diamond blocks, shall we? 
One of my first ideas for the diamond blocks is actually just right here. So what I'm thinking is, right, we curve this all the way around, and then you get this funky little spot in the middle where I think you can place a diamond. Oh, hey, I forgot I did that. Still true. You're still watching me. You're watching me, right? You're watching me. Don't mind me. Just pillaring up. There we go. Okay, that is not half bad for an entrance flex. I like it. Good flex. Good flex. It's not a weird flex. It's good flex. Now for my next flex, I'm thinking the bridge. I mean, it's the newest addition, so it's an easy target, really. But I, it just it displays things so well. Right, I'm thinking we'll just pop a diamond block right at the base of each of these pillars. And kind of see how that looks. Oh, I actually think I like that. I think that adds quite a lot. This next location is going to be way more subtle. So hold on, I pop down here. And then, yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that looks so good. <laughs> it is a weird flex, but it looks good, genuinely. It's, it's the right color blue, what can I say? Right, we've got six left and I've got one more idea. I just need a couple of other things. I feel like this mega base is a bit of a palace of sorts. So I'm thinking in places like that, it's pretty typical when you enter. Oh, hi, Corellis, hello. I give a wave, I wave. As I was saying, uh, when you enter places like that, sometimes you've got this really pretty kind of marble looking floor. Like, like it's really just lush looking. So I wanna do that and have some diamonds sort of just engraved into it in places. Cause I feel like that's like the ultimate flex, right? My flooring is literally diamonds. That's a good flex. Luckily this mega base gives us tons of space to do whatever we want with the floors and ceilings. Cause as you can see, that's the ceiling of the next layer right there. So we've got a little weird crawl space in between. We'll figure that out eventually. But for now, this will be good. I am once again relying on the cauldron for my plant needs. But I just feel like this is the perfect opportunity for them. You know, they, they go so well here. Look at this. And we just put some leaves. Oh yeah, spruce is the place right up. A ceiling of some form in here would also be helpful. I don't have a lot of skulk yet, but I'm thinking skulk. I mean, that's cool. And of course the other necessity, a chandelier. Maybe a more epic one than that. Probably with like white glass and end rods. But for now, that. Well, this place is really coming together. I like it. Let's have a quick look with shaders, shall we? I'm just so curious. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> the sun is setting right now, so things are a little bit intense. But. Wow. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot, everyone. I'm genuinely so proud of this base. This is by far the biggest thing I've ever tackled in survival mode. It's huge and I'm so proud of it. Even if we are taking it slowly and it did have an ugly phase, we're leaving the ugly phase. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. Right, well, it's nighttime. I'm gonna go to bed here and in real life. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.